Hello, and welcome to Travel Babble with Basha. I am Basha, your hostess, as we wake up in Copenhagen. Today, I want to give a review on the Wake Up Copenhagen Hotel that I stayed at. I was looking for a place to stay for about a week. I didn't want anything fancy. I had splurged. I was winding down towards the end of a trip. I just needed a place to stay while I explored around Copenhagen, other areas of Denmark, and, and going over into Sweden just for a day. I found the Wake Up Copenhagen Hotel. There were several that were all in the same vicinity. It was a toss-up which one to choose, so I just chose the one that I liked the pictures, I liked where it was situated, and I went with that one. Now. Keep in mind, I was just looking for a place that was low income, low, low expense, and that I could just sleep. And that's what I got. You get sometimes what you pay for. It was clean, but the room was tiny. I was in a single room, but even some of the other rooms that I saw weren't much bigger. I would say if you were staying in one of the other rooms and it was a similar layout to what I had, you need to be friendly with that person that you're staying with because it is a small area. I had a bed that looked out over a very nice courtyard and I enjoyed looking out there. There was activities going on during the day. There were other hotels around and I could see people having some parties and things. One of the things that was strange for me at the time of year I was there, it wouldn't get dark until midnight 1 a.m. I had to get used to that, which was fine because I'm usually up late. The room had a very small table. Most of the time it was covered with my junk. My laptop took up a big portion of it and I had some other stuff that just swamped the entire desk. Again, if you had more than one person in a room with that size desk, you would have to be figuring out whose stuff got to take on. The bathroom was in one corner and the walls to the bathroom were basically opaque. You could kind of see shadows through it, but you couldn't really see a person. But again, that's what I'm saying. If you were sharing a room like this with somebody, you'd need to be friendly because you're going to see their shadows and see them moving around in the bathroom. The shower was decent. It was not too small. It was not too big. I've been in smaller. I've been in a lot bigger. There was a nice little sink and a toilet there. It did what it needed to do. But again, it was the opaqueness that was a little strange for me. But I didn't mind because in some ways it made the room feel bigger when it wasn't a solid dark wall right there. I enjoyed it. The room did come with breakfast. I was very disappointed in the breakfast. I got food to eat, but I didn't feel like there was a good assortment. And they were nice there. When I would go to leave, I would usually take like a, a takeaway cup with tea in it, maybe a piece of fruit. I didn't go hungry. But it wasn't something that you would want to go out of your way or write big blogs or do a blog on about the breakfast. I did not have dinner there. One of my friends that I met there had gone to dinner around the corner at another hotel and raved about that. But it was a seafood dinner and I was not able to go because I'm allergic to seafood. But I wasn't disappointed because, again, I was just there. I was sightseeing. I was taking up some time. I was going to get on a cruise to bring me back to the United States, so I was just visiting the general area. And I like to walk. I was able to walk from this hotel to quite a few places. I was able to walk to the central train station. I was able to walk over and jump on a hop on, hop off bus. Several different buses, in fact, that took different loops around the city. And I'll talk about that hopefully in another video. I took a day trip over to Sweden. And one of the things that was really nice is the tour company, when they picked us up, they came to the hotel that was just around the corner. So I was able to walk around the corner, and they had another location that I could have walked to, but it was a little further away. So it was nice that they had locations nearby as well that you could walk to. As I said, eating for me was not a big deal. I like to go to the supermarkets in the area. And I accidentally did. I went out the front desk one day. I asked them. I got a map. I went out. And true to fashion for me, I was lost as soon as I left the hotel. I was supposed to turn right, and I turned left. The nice thing is, 
you're exploring, you get to find new places. I found a supermarket. I was able to go into the market and get everything that I needed for drinks, for snacks, for the next few days while I was in town. I only made one mistake. I got what we would call gas with water instead of gas without water or still water. That was my only mistake. I was able to get everything else that I needed. I was able to pay. I was able to tell them how many bags I needed because you do pay for the bags there and I had forgotten mine. Or I guess I shouldn't really say I forgot it. I hadn't planned on going to the market that day. I was going to go another day. So that was an experience and I love those type of experiences of getting out and being with the, the people who live there, not just the tourists. I did get around, I did walk, I did talk to people in the front desk. The whole front area was nice. I had to sit downstairs for a while because I had sent some things to be printed to the front desk and I was able to sit downstairs. There were some nice quiet areas. There's some places that had TV and just relax and read while I waited for that. Now again, it is a low cost hotel. So you also get nickel and dime sometimes. And because I wanted to print some things, I had to pay for those. It wasn't a lot of money, but it was just an inconvenience that I had to pay for them. And I had to find the money to be able to do that. And, but otherwise, you know, everybody there was nice about it. They had a little, um, like a little snack bar. I never got anything from there, so I don't know what the prices were. But overall, the hotel was okay. I would recommend it if you're coming in, maybe you're going there for a cruise. Cruises go out of Copenhagen quite frequently. You do need to take a taxi. The front desk can help you arrange to get that taxi. There are other people there who stay there for cruises, so sometimes if you meet up with somebody else, either through a group or through running into them in one of the rooms downstairs, you could share a taxi. It's not that far to the cruise port, but it's, it is far enough that you can't walk there. Again, it's a good location. You can walk around. You can see quite a few things while you're there. I would not recommend it if you are splurging and you want to go all out, but it is a nice place. It was clean. Just if you're sharing a room with somebody, make sure they're your friend. Take care. If you like this, if you want to see more reviews, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and like my video. Subscribe so that you can see other travels, other reviews. And above all, enjoy Copenhagen. Now go pack your bags.